Wild West has arrived in the German capital. At least as far as horse-drawn carriages and their drivers are concerned. As things stand, they don't have to adhere to any traffic rules at all. Due to a legal loophole, no number plates, driving licenses or trip recorders are currently required. The lack of regulation means that even people who have no experience with horses can sit atop the carriage and set off through the bustling streets of central Berlin. Theoretically, I could take the reins. Yeah. Um, It'd be chaos. Most people can't imagine what could go wrong. If you handed someone the reins and let them just drive off into the traffic, it would be total chaos. Luckily, there haven't been any serious accidents yet. But with the numbers of carriages on Berlin streets rising, local lawmakers want to close the loopholes and tighten regulation. Firstly, I'd like to know that the coachmen are properly trained. Just because you've done it in a small village in the country, it doesn't mean you can also do it in a big city. Secondly, I want to ensure that the animals are being treated properly. What looks like a romantic spectacle for tourists is potentially very dangerous. The authorities are taking an increasing interest in the horse-drawn carriages especially in the light of some hair-raising incidents. One coachman was caught drunk, and he wasn't even 18. Another boasted he'd been banned from driving. That's not good for the safety of traffic in Berlin. In the past, things were different. Under Kaiser Wilhelm II, a law introduced in 1904 tightly regulated the 6,000 horse-drawn carriages operating in Berlin. But the Kaiser and the law are long gone. There are now no rules governing how long a horse can work in traffic. As it stands, all matters are left to the discretion of the driver. But business is booming for the horse-drawn carriages, and many have dismissed the concerns. Horses on the cobblestones. It's old-fashioned, but it's been around for many years, and in the past it was normal. I think today's drivers know what they're doing. And this one in particular rotates his horses on a regular basis and gives them enough time to recover. They're used to it. I don't think it's a problem for the horses. I don't think they mind. It's not cruel? No, I don't see it as cruelty. Cobbled streets are not just a challenge for the horses when they trot. Experts say that some surfaces are totally unsuitable for horses' needs, and that they also need somewhere proper to rest. Horses need to spend time on natural ground. It doesn't have to be a field with bushes, but it should be earth. They need that to be able to relax. Horses feel uncomfortable urinating and defecating on paved roads. The new U.S. Embassy in Berlin has plenty of natural ground available, but the diplomats won't allow the horses to do their business there. Many carriage drivers think the new rules go too far. It's nonsense. A horse is a working animal. They have to trot. If you kept a horse in a meadow, it would get ill. Politicians in Berlin are responding to the growing controversy over the carriages with new regulations. Drivers will soon be required to have licenses. Horses' working days will be limited to nine hours and they'll have to be given a one-hour break on unpaved ground. Are they excessive? Yes, it's excessive animal protection. There are so many human traits that are being extended to animals, and it's totally unnecessary. They're animals. We should respect their ways, but they have their own habits. You don't have to get into bed with them. You're not supposed to cuddle them. They wouldn't even want that. 
But Berlin's lawmakers disagree. So new regulations for the city's horse-drawn carriages are expected to come into force in the spring. Oh, shit. Fine.